Hello, my name is Mariana and this is a reading for Taurus. Um, so Taurus, as usual, I'm doing um, your reading today with my own deck of cards. So the cards that you'll see are from this deck. Um, so Taurus, there is something about the feeling of your reading and the feeling of you that is so peaceful. And I feel like that very often comes through Taurus. I believe there is an old reading that I had that same feeling of just being at peace in this very uh, just um, present moment. And I feel like there's something about your earthliness that is so steady and so grounded and it's coming through very powerfully here. And I feel like you are... It's like you're taking care of the practical things in your life, right? And you're doing so valuing each and every task, each and every chore. There's something about being satisfied with what you already have, with the things that are surrounding you, with even like your own body. And this is something that is coming through recently, like paying attention to this closer personal space paying paying close attention to your own body to your health and i feel like this is something that is coming through you taking care of your life in practical terms maybe even financial terms or work related stuff but there's something that is filling up your heart with so much presence and love but presence is more significant today because i feel like there is the sense of um ease and uh satisfaction really it's like satisfaction because you it's like you see the value of the things that you own of the things that you conquered of the things that you know you're carrying within your body. And I feel like this is something that is giving you this um, in tune perspective, but also like you don't need to know much or you don't need anything else to add to what you already have, right? It's like you are completely satisfied with everything that you already built for yourself. So, the reason why I say that is because of this Ace of Pentacles that came through. Well, the way that I saw it was like holding something that is incredibly, incredibly valuable to you, but and being satisfied with that, with that one thing. But it's like this, it's almost like this ripple effect of this one thing symbolizes the preciousness or the uh, value of each and every single thing that you own or that you have around you. So yes, this was bringing a lot of peace, but also the sense of satisfaction is coming through like that. It's like, it's almost like you are gratified or I don't know if that's the right word. It's like, it it's it's just that right there's it's it's not like you are you know looking at the things that you own and thinking of the next thing that you want to buy or the next project that you have to engage it's like being present fully present and feeling like you belong so the four of pentacles coming next and it was interesting because this card suddenly when this came, when this came along it's like this felt like you yourself your human entity right your body your 3d self that fits in perfect in the place that you are in your home in your work wherever you are it's like this is the perfect fit for you and this is interesting because it was talking about because it's so like um, close to the body, like this perfect fit, it's not just to where you belong, but 
the body that you belong to, right? It's like feeling like your self, your entire self, right? Your higher self belongs to this body. And this is beautiful because I feel like this, maybe you're taking care not only of your finances and your, you know, practical life, your day to day, but also there's also something about your health and the quality of life that you want to give your body. So this perfect fit that I was seeing here was obviously because, you know, this one pentacle here creates, in a sense, the five of pentacles, which to my surprise came later on, but we're going to get there because there are a few cards in between. But I feel like you, well, this might explain why you already have this feeling like you do belong there, like you are fit, right, for this place, for this role, for this body, for this lifetime, for whatever it is that you are um, undertaking right now, or just experiencing and, you know, just living fully. So the moon here, it was actually, yes, talking about intuition and your, it's almost like you are um it's like you are it's almost like you you are able to tune in because you are at peace because you are in this very satis it's not a satisfactory position but it's more like um you're proud of yourself but without the ego part it's like you it's like you're looked to your body and you want to honor it it's like you you want to live your life fully to honor your body. And so, yes, there is something about you are connecting more to your body than just the physical aspect of it. But there is something else. And actually, I feel like this is the most prominent message coming from the moon today for you, Taurus. It's about not wanting more than you already have. Because so, OK, so this moon card was talking about the mysteries that are, you know, very often unanswered, right? The things that, you know, have those endless question marks that we don't know the answer for, that we don't have any sort of resolution for, or we are just beginning to get glimpses of this type of enormous entity that is the universe, right? So I feel like there is a lot that you don't know but you are completely satisfied with you what with what you do know you see it's like with what you have in front of you you are satisfied with that it's like there is no need for you to know more for you to search more for you to look for something that you need to know because you want to discover you want to go to the bottom of it i feel like there is this Oh yeah, so the word that just came through is serenity. There is this serenity of self that is coming through the physical body in a way that is allowing you to, it's almost like um, the sense of not feeling anxious to know about your future or to understand the visions that you have, you know, like premonitions or stuff like that. It's like, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. And I know this sound very simple, but I feel like this is your vibe, Taurus. It's like you are embracing what you have, what you know that is extremely valuable. I feel like you are giving the value to the things that you already have. But, you know, it's like maybe you're looking at the things that are surrounding you maybe you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you know perhaps it's the same body that you had you know for years and years and years but there's something about the way that you're perceiving that thing or your own body that makes perfect sense that fits perfectly into the experience that you you're having right now meaning this physical lifetime and this is something that is, it's helping, it's almost like, it's like this lullaby, right? It's like there is no euphoria or this need, right? This uh, unconscious, perhaps, 
need to understand or to figure out something just because you want to understand, just because you want to perceive further. It's like there is no anxiety of any sorts. It's almost like you are preparing to go to sleep, right? And you can just relax. And actually, this is how your reading is ending today. Well, the first part, but it's like you can enjoy a good night's sleep. And I feel like that is because your heart is full because we have the king of uh, cups. And so the only thing actually that came through with this card was your heart is full, Taurus. And I feel like that is that. It's almost like I, I don't need to say anything else because I'm sure if you were resonating with this sensation in your body, in your heart, it's like, you know that your heart is full. And I got just um, goosebumps all, all over because I feel like this is something that is really heartfelt, right? You don't need to know any further. You don't need to ask any other questions. It's like, you're good where you're at. You're good with what you have. You're good with who you are or who you, bec or who you have become. It's like you, it's like you're, it's not acknowledging who you've become, but it's like honoring that, honoring this heart full by feeling it. It's like feeling like your heart is full and just enjoying it. It's, in, it's interesting because this enjoyment is coming through so much recently too, but I feel like you're, it's like you are truly appreciating who you are what you have and where you are. So the more you honor this King of Cups, which is you, Taurus, I feel like you, it's like you become even more balanced, even more grounded, but not in a stagnant kind of way, right? If, you know, you were to stay in this place or you were to stay in this house or this job or this path that you're walking with just the four of pentacles even though yes absolutely you do fit in it's like it's made for you and it feels it feels just right it feels like everything fits perfectly but the more you recognize that acknowledging and appreciating everything that you have and giving the rightful value to them it's like you are honoring yourself right it's like you are focusing on the practical things right we have a lot of pentacle cards here but there is also like this it's like you're not ignoring your subconscious you're not ignoring your intuition you're not ignoring this more subtle perhaps sensitive or even romantic side of you taurus it's like it is still there but it's almost like you can enjoy it while you're asleep because during the day you have your own activities. You have, you know, your house chores or whatever uh, things that you have to do during your day that it's like it is taking care of your heart, but is also taking care of your body, of the structure that gives you this sense of, well, balance, right? Yes, with the Four of Pentacles, this groundedness and this belonging. But there's also with the Six of Pentacles, well, especially because we have the Five of Pentacles coming next. So we have the Four, the Six, and the Five, and the Ace. So what I was seeing here is that the more... It's almost like you... You're practicing your full presence. You're practicing your full honoring of who you are, of where you are in your journey. And this gives you this confidence to move, but in a very diligent kind of way. It's like, this is the path ahead, right? It's like you, this groundedness, this belonging doesn't mean that you are going to stay in this job forever, that you're going to stay in this house forever, that you're never going to leave. This is what this is talking about. It's like 
you have this path ahead free for you to go right and it is you know very solid it is very tangible it is very steady and reliable because you have built it you have built it with the tiny little tasks that you do daily right these are the things that you know summed up they are building this path for you and what this five of pentacles next is saying is that this intuition that you might have had like for a while now that you belong that you do have everything that you need that you are satisfied with the things that you own with the life that you have with the body that you have it's like this sensation grows this and it grows because you know that you're not stuck there this is important it's not it's not that you are stuck there that you, you know you're anchoring down you're um uh settling down you are putting down your roots and you know you're never going to move again that's not what the six of pentacles is talking about it's like you have a free path but whenever you want to come back to this safety to this um grounded place it's like you are more than welcome it's because it's not it's not that you're properly welcome. It's your place. It's your rightful place. So this place is always going to be there no matter how far you go, right? Or no matter how many times you move in and out. Because this is like, and you know, this can be not only just an actual home, right? Or an actual job. It could be just your physical being that you're honoring. So you know that you're not stuck to it. It's like you have movement. You can go anywhere that you go, anytime that you wish, because you, it's like you know who you've become. So you know that your heart is guiding you whenever you want to go or whenever you want to stay. And actually, this is what this card is talking about. It's like, it's so beautiful because I feel like there is pause, but also movement. It's almost like, you know, coming and going, but knowing when to stop to rest because of the Four of Swords. So that's the thing. It's like, you know that this four of pentacles whatever this represents for you taurus be it your body be it your home your work uh your family whatever it is your purpose whatever it is it feels like this is well maybe this is something that is granted right that you can trust in this because you feel like you it's almost like you have you have built this for yourself. So you know that there is no way that anybody could change that. And so you don't have to always keep an eye and see if the things are there. If, you know, it's like you don't have to be preoccupied, Taurus, to... It's like to see if there is somebody sneaking on you or trying to, you know, um, just... just um come and hinder you in any way it's like it's it's not that case that that's why it's like whenever you feel like moving or going or traveling it's like you know that you'll be able to come back because there are times when you feel like this rest is needed and when it's needed you have the perfect sport, spot for it and maybe it's just like this honoring of your body right it's like taking care of your body because sometimes you are on the go you are moving and you are doing things you are in activities that are you know demanding your attention your focus but there comes a time when your body is asking again this attention so your focus comes back to where you belong right which is your full self i want to say it's like taking care of yourself, not only, you know, um, it's like all of your bodies, right? Not just the physical, but the emotional, the psychological, the mental, like all of the aspects of yourself. It's like you're taking care of yourself fully because that is what gives you the sensation of having a full heart, right? So this is beautiful because I feel like you're, it's like you are, 
really in tune with yourself, with who you've become, with the life that you have built for yourself. And I feel like this gives you this ability to go and to come back whenever you wish, which is, you know, a luxury to me, to my point of view, at least. So yeah, let's see where this is going to go in the extended. I'm going to pull more cards for you. And also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes. Um, so if you want to join me in the extended reading, I'll be happy to see you there. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.